Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to tell you to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd generation MC model. So, this is going to be hard and take a lot of time, but... And you also need to rename a whole bunch of files and stuff, but it's not as hard as you think. It's just harder than most jailbreaks are nowadays. So, you want your iPod Touch to be jailbroken and restored to 3.1.2. I'll have a video telling you how to do that. It's really simple. First, what you're going to want to do is just download the files in the description. These right here. And what you want to do is extract these two and make two folders with these names. Just simple like that. And extract them to them. So, just like this. Extract. Do the same for the other one. So now what you want to do is open payload and run it and select iPod Touch and hit Pwn 3.1.2 iBoot and browse for your 3.1.2 firmware. So now we'll ask you to browse for where you want to extract the file to. So you want to go to this folder, iBooty, and click it, hit OK. And it will tell you that it was successful. Hit quit. And now what you want to do is open Snowbreeze. Expert mode. And browse for your 4.0 IPSW. And you shouldn't get any errors here. If you do, just try it again. Okay, so it's done processing, and you'll get this message. Telling you your iPod, if it's an MC model, has to be jailbroken. Not with Spirit, with Black Rain. And you just hit I understand. If it's not, go do it right now. And then hit next. And you want to click general. You shouldn't do any of this stuff, since it is sort of new and you might run into errors so just hit next and you have to hit this right here disable nor flash if you don't it won't work and then multitasking percentage and wallpaper if you want Cydia or rock or both These won't work with the MC model, so just uncheck them. Now hit build IPSW. And it will just, when you hit next, it will build it. Okay, so now Snowbreeze is done. What you want to do is hit OK, next, and exit. So, here comes the hard part. What you want to do, well this isn't the hard part yet, but what you want to do is open the four, the newly made firmware with WinRAR or 7-zip. I'll just use 7-zip. And make a file or folder for it. And just call it whatever you want. And extract them, the files to it like this. Okay, so now you want to just close this out. Open this folder. And you're custom IPSW folder. What you want to do is drag the file kernel cache.release.n72 to this folder right here. Then go into firmware all flash and then you want to drag device tree.n72 ap over to this folder and then you want to go to DFU and drag ibec.n72ap.release.dfu into this folder. You can close this. And now you want to rename all the files you copied. The first one, device tree, you want to rename it to dev tree. And then change the extension to dot 40. And IBEC.n72ap, you want to rename to 
IBEC.40 and kernel cache you want to rename to kernel.40 and that's it for that part now what you want to do is put your iPod in recovery mode so now what I want to do is you want to turn off your iPod and disconnect it now you want to hold your home button and while you're holding your home button connect it to your computer if I can do this without moving the camera and then it will be in recovery mode like so iTunes will prompt you sorry I have two opened because it's a virtual machine because I don't feel like finding a screen recorder for Windows 7 with good quality and audio support so just exit iTunes when it's in recovery mode you want to open iBooty prepare device for custom firmware this is usually pretty quick and pretty soon you should see an image on your screen okay now you can see that it has the image and now what you want to do is go into iTunes and when it pops up hit OK shift restore and you want to browse to your custom IPSW hit open and now it's going to restore to it okay now it's done and what I'm going to want to do is go back to iBooty because it will be in restore mode when it's done restoring and it won't work so what you want to do is go to iBooty and after you open it you want to hit boot it and now your iPod should boot after it's done exploiting it okay as you can see now it's done rebooting and restoring with iBoot so you can see it's got folders so it is 4.0 and has wallpaper and multitasking and we have Cydia and Rock over here rock and in the settings you can see it is an MC model actually so I'm not sure if you can see it but right there MC so it is an MC model, like I said. Changing the wallpaper does work. Let's go into wallpapers. And just use the default one for now. So as you can see, here's the wallpaper, and it did set at the lock screen. So thanks for watching. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe.